Well, this is a very nice power unit that came out of the Telcom uh, pickup. You see we've got amps, uh, excuse me, switches here for breakers along here. And here they are. Probably going to be silver contacts there, but look at all the copper here. This is going to be a lot of fun to take apart. Just got a low-grade power board, connect board here, but it's all this copper and brass that's in here that's going to be very interesting. So, without any further ado, come on, let's dive in and get to it. Okay. Well, I think we're going to start off with getting these. These look like copper, so we'll see after we get one out. All right, so these smaller, these smaller ones are 7 sixteenths. Now let's see here. No. Oh man. Those scumbags. That's just so wrong. It's like copper copper plating on copper plating on Ferris. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, I mean, what did you expect? <laughs> All right, now, uh, here we've got aluminum on number one insulated copper wire. That's going to be very strippable wire, too. So, uh. Yeah, so that's real nice, strippable number one. And that's going to be, I'm betting that's aluminum. Let's see. Yeah, so this little screw part is ferrous, but this is aluminum. Now we've got some serious cable here. These are probably plated copper would be my guess. Yeah, I can see where it's worn through. So these are copper, and then you've got copper. Uh, this is easily number one, but it's very easy to strip and just get the copper. I'm so disappointed in these screws. Now this screw appears to be brass, but let's find out. Okay, very nice. The lock washer is... It's copper colored. Let's see if it's plated copper and the, the screw itself is brass. Okay, so that appears to be brass, which is interesting. I just want to make sure I'm not fooling myself. Yeah. yeah, so the screw and the lock washer are brass. Nine sixteenths. And of course, we know that, like your compadres, you're not really copper. Lion scumbags. Alright, now. This 250 amp, 50 meg volts 
M V the capital M capital V megavolts millivolts hmm and then this sticker says negative 48 volts R1 250 amp either way that's a whole lot of I want to shock the crap out of you so brass brass Hmm. I think that's brass. This is definitely brass here. This, if on these edges right there, it appears to be brass. A little bit hard to tell with the light that's going on in here right now. That's a very silvery color though. Very silvery color and not at all magnetic. Just doesn't feel flimsy enough to be aluminum. Could that be stainless steel? All right, so those of you that are really smart about high amperage breakers and such, what is this gonna be in the middle? This is definitely brass. What about this? Now, the only... Yeah, that's definitely copper. So the only thing I have to do here is get this plug out. Because that's going to be... Yeah. So there's a ferrous screw plug in here and that'll that should just pop right out so we can get nice nice uh, bleh, nice copper with that my buddy e-waste Mike likes to call these ice cubes there's a uh, Nice copper inside of there, silver contacts. I believe that board sort pays a dollar a pound for these. This 12 inch extender comes in very handy for this kind of stuff. And there's another very nice piece of copper with some ferrous screw plugs that need to get busted out. I don't know if there's enough, if it's enough room or not. This is one of those times when the short form factor of the DeWalt driver comes in really handy because it fits nicely in this really tight space to get these nuts off of the back of the circuit breakers here. We still have a flathead screw screwing into this base plate. And we still have these screws here, these nuts that are holding this, the uh, switches in place, the breakers. All right, so let's go ahead and get those out. Maybe we can get the breakers off then. Well, we still got to get all these. That's why I was hoping if I undid those, I could lift this off. But now I have to get all those flatheads out. All right, I'm going to get those flatheads out. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so by taking the flathead out, the breaker comes off. So let me demonstrate that here for you. There's 
uh, one screw down in there. And once we get that unscrewed, then you get the wires pulled off. And there's the breaker. So there'll be a almost definitely a silver contact inside that breaker. And this bar here is copper. So I'll get the ferrous bolts off of there. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice find. And what are you? Your fiber, so that's just some some sort of press wood fiber, and a bunch of ferrous nuts and bolts. So I'm going to work on this, and uh, we'll get back when we're when we've made further progress. once you get them going they come off pretty easy that one was maybe the threads were a little stripped or something all right so there's nothing to get terribly excited about on this board we can pull this IC chip this IC chip and then throw this in with low grades so I started taking this apart and that copper piece there's actually two of them here Uh, they look suspiciously like great big silver contacts. Let's see what's on the other side of this one here. So, this is also copper. And it has the same great big kind of silvery button. So, I'm thinking these are silver contacts. I'm going to get my test solution and take a look at it and confirm... But that's a real nice find there. So what I, if, if that does confirm to be silver, then what I'll do is I'll cut the, this part off so that this goes in with my clean number one copper. And I don't know, maybe cut off a little tab there or see if I can bust off these to set those with the silver contacts. That was a very cool find. So this power box turned out to be really nice. We've got real nice copper coming out of this thing we've got some nice copper bars that once I get them cleaned up they're gonna be real nice we've got nice big chunks of brass some extruded aluminum some small brass screws we've got some low-grade boards we've got circuit breakers that'll have a uh, almost positive that's gonna have a silver contact in it and then we got some real nice number one insulated And all of this number one insulated is well worth stripping because there's just some real nice material in there with copper ends on it. All right, everybody, remember, if you saw any of the tools that I'm using that you want to get for your shop, I have a link in my description down below to my Amazon store. As an Amazon affiliate, I do get a commission off of anything that you buy if you follow that link. And I put a portion of those proceeds towards the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project 2 for 22 campaign. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. The icons that are popping up there <laughs> are going to take you to more scrapping videos. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.